Hey gang, Keith here with mindofmodernman.com. Welcome back into the truck for another edition of Truck Tales and happy Super Bowl time. That's right, it's the Super Bowl time and we're here to get all kinds of great ideas for Super Bowl food. In fact, it's a Truck Tales top 10, my top 10 favorite Super Bowl foods. Let's start right away. Let's go right into, jump into right there. Number 10, number 10, sweets. You got to have sweets. You got to have a little something for the third and fourth quarter. Some of my favorite that we've ever done, uh, we made Rice Krispie treats in the shape of footballs. That's always good. Brownies, chocolate chip cookies, ice cream. Ice cream sundaes are great. However, if you're a modern man like most and a lot of the friends that I have, bring some Pepsid, bring some Imodium, bring some Pepto-Bismol. By the time the ice cream sundae rolls out by the third or fourth quarter, it's going to get a little messy in there. So make sure that you have that going on. Number nine, nachos. There are so many things you can do with nachos. You know what I do with nachos? I make the chips myself. Just take some corn tortillas, cut them into a bunch of slices, a little olive oil, a bunch of salt, put them on a roasting pan, put them in the oven, and go ahead and cook those up. Much better than the store-bought. Of course, if you're going for a quick turn, get some store-bought chips, get some Velveeta, cheese whiz, call it a day. But nachos are great. What do you put on your nachos? Hit the comments below. Let us know what kind of things you put on your nachos. Do you keep them spicy? Do you keep them plain? Do you go with chicken? Do you go with a little meat? Who knows? Nachos are the good way to go. Number eight, hot dogs. Love me some hot dogs. Um, the thing with a hot dog is you can't just have a plain hot dog. You can do it Chicago style, which actually has pickles and all kinds of stuff on it. You can do a chili dog. You can do a cheese dog. You can do a corn dog. Is there anything better than taking a hot dog, wrapping it in cornbread, and putting it on a stick? Food on a stick! What's more Super Bowl than food on a stick? I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, number seven, a Mexican dip, or maybe some chips and guacamole. Uh, we like to be able to keep Mexican food around our house all the time, and it's definitely a go-to. We do uh, something in my family, we call it the dip. It's in a uh, pie plate, you do a pie plate. The bottom is a whole stick of cream cheese, then you do a can of refried beans on top, vegetarian style, if you got some vegetarians in your family. On top of that, a can of salsa. We like the Paul Newman kind of salsa. Very good. Then you go ahead and you chop up some olives, put some olives in there, a little bit of cheese, a whole lot of cheese on the top, some more olives on the top, and you bake it. 350 until you see it hot and bubbly. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic dip. You can serve it with bread. You can serve it with veggies. Uh, you can serve it for all kinds of things. As far as guacamole goes, there's this great article on shape.com that lists all kinds of stats about Super Bowl food. And it also has ideas of how you could eat a little bit healthier year at the Super Bowl, but we're not going to talk about that today. But what they said is that over 12 million pounds of avocados are sold the week of the Super Bowl. That's fantastic. Do you know how much guacamole that makes? That makes a lot of guacamole. Good idea. If you're only using half of the pit or if you're taking the guacamole somewhere else, leave the pits in the guacamole. It'll actually help it stay the green color and not turn all that dark brown color that guacamole can do. Number six, I love a sub. Give me a big six-foot sub, slice it into pieces. Italian style is a good way to go. Uh, you can do meatball subs. You can do uh, parm. Just don't do like the subs they did on The Office. Remember on The Office? It was like ketchup sandwiches. It was disgusting. Don't do that. Do a fun sub. Go Italian. Get a big Subway. The kind of Remember it used to come from the deli and it had all the different colored picks on the top? You know those toothpicks with all the co pretty colors on the top? I love those. Those are so cool. Um... You know, at a, at a Super Bowl party, you want to have food that everyone can enjoy. So you want to have different kind of, you know, a Super Bowl party. You don't know? Oh, man. Hey, kids. Uncle Keith here. A Super Bowl party is when all your friends would get together in person and sit together, talking, looking at each other, actually having human contact. Not a group text, not a group chat, not Skype or Facebook, but we would all be in the same place. It's really fun, and we'd all eat a lot of food. We actually asked our followers on social media, on our Facebook and our Instagram page, we asked them what their favorite foods are that they bring to a Super Bowl party. And here are their top five. Number five is spinach artichoke dip. Interesting. Everyone loves a little spinach artichoke dip. Going along with that is number four, chips and dip. Did you know that 11 million pounds of potato chips are going to be consumed by people on Super Bowl Sunday? That's crazy! Number three, jalapeno poppers. Now, I can't do jalapeno poppers justice. I don't really like hot, spicy things, but 
I have something even better. Modern Man Jay and his mini Modern Man Andy just made some jalapeno poppers for Super Bowl Sunday. Let's take a look. <laughs> Thanks guys. And number two is pulled pork. I love pulled pork. You can barbecue it, a little barbecue sauce, put it on a hot dog, put it on chips, put it on nachos, just have it on a grinder roll, put it with some peppers. Pulled pork is the best. And the number one fan favorite thing, beer. You can't go wrong with beer. Can you have a Super Bowl without beer? It's actually a question that I'm not sure of. There'd be a lot less commercials, that's for sure. While we go back to the other view, let's let the Budweiser Clydesdales answer it for us. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Number five. We talked a little bit about meatball subs, but what about meatballs? You can do Swedish meatballs. Pick some up at Ikea. Get a little lingonberry sauce. You can do uh, traditional meatballs with some marinara sauce. You can do teriyaki meatballs. You can do turkey meatballs. You can do pork meatballs. Black bean meatballs for vegetarians. All different ways that you can have meatballs. You can serve them on a stick. You can serve them on a roll. You can serve them in a dish with sauce. Um, they're fantastic. They feel good. Uh, the smell when you're cooking meatballs really fills the house and they really smell so good. I love that uh, very much. Number four, I'm going to go with pizza. I love pizza. But it's got to be good pizza. I'm from Connecticut. New Haven, Connecticut is known as the pizza capital of the United States. It's got that flat um, brick oven pizza, uh, Peppies and Sally's in New Haven, modern pizza. Those are the places that have the best takeout. It's actually funny. Delivery or takeout of food is 48 million different people in the United States will be ordering takeout uh, food for the Super Bowl. Of that 48 million, 60% of that is pizza. That's a lot of pizza on one day. It's pretty cool how Super Bowl is like a national holiday of food, isn't it? Um, number three, and this is special for me, is potato skins. My wife and I shared potato skins on our very first date. We try to work potato skins into everything we do. If we go on vacation, if it's a special event, if it's a birthday, we have potato skins. But potato skins are just the beginning. It's the things that you can put on top of potato skins that make it happy. How about some of that pulled pork from before? How about you put some of the Mexican meat? How about some guacamole on there? Bacon, you gotta have bacon. Pretty much you should put bacon on everything that we've mentioned so far today. Just put bacon on everything. You can't go wrong with bacon. Number two, of course, is the very popular wings. I don't think you can have a Super Bowl without beer and you can't have it without wings. Um, buffalo wings, teriyaki wings, jerk wings, hot wings, uh, mild wings, soft wings. You can have boneless wings. You can have giant wings. You can have Statler breasts that have the wings attached. All different ways for you to be able to do wings. Which way do you like it? What flavor do you like it? Do you know that 1.25 billion wings are going to be consumed for the Super Bowl. 1.25 billion. Somebody do the math and tell me how many chickens that is. But that's a lot of wings. And my number one favorite food for a Super Bowl is a soft, hot pretzel. I love them. I can't go wrong. Restaurants that have soft, hot pretzels on their appetizer menu are my favorite things on the planet. I love a good hot pretzel. We've had some. I make them myself. Little story. Little high school aged Keith, my first job was working at the mall at pretzel time. I wore a hot fluorescent apron and a hot fluorescent pink hat that said pretzel time on it. We would roll out the dough. We learned how to do the flip and make the pretzels. And I would go home with bags of them at the end of the day every night that weren't sold. And I still love them. I still love the taste. I'll go to a baseball game, I gotta have a hot pretzel. I'll go to an event at a coliseum, a concert, or a hockey game, gotta have a pretzel. And at the Super Bowl, it's no different. Either I'll make them myself, or we'll buy some of those jumbo hot ones that we can heat up in the oven, a little bit of sea salt on top, and all the dipping sauces that you want. You can do a really great Dijon mustard, you can do a spicy mustard, you can do a beer cheese sauce, mm, uh, which is beer. fantastic. You can even do a little frosting. If you're doing it towards the end, you can do a little buttercream, something like that, um, a little honey frosting. There's so many different things that you can do with a pretzel. You can wrap a pretzel around a hot dog. You can wrap a pretzel around um, some steak. You can wrap a pretzel around so many different ways. Hot pretzels, Definitely my number one Super Bowl food. Um, what is yours? Share it in the comments below. Go over to our website, mindofmodernman.com, and share what you love. Share your recipes. Share the kind of things that you want um, to do. 
there's a bonus item that I'm gonna add to this list. We talked about hot dogs, and most of the hot dogs you gotta do on a grill. And the Super Bowl is actually the second most popular day for grilling uh, next to the 4th of July in the United States. My son loves his hamburgers small. He loves sliders. And I was thinking about this the other day, different ways that you can make sliders. But then, Modern Man Jay and his mini Modern Man Andy sent me this. <laughs> So that's it. It's time for the end zone dance. The final play has been called. I want to thank you for watching this. I hope that you will come over and comment and continue the conversation with us on our website, mindofmodernman.com, on our social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, Pinterest, on in uh, Instagram. Go to all those places. Go to this post on YouTube. All the different places where you find this there. Please give us a comment. Let us know what we're doing, how you like it. Um, because, you know, I always feel like we're doing a good job and, and we try to make everybody proud. And as my grandfather always used to say to me, you do nice work, not much, but what you do is quality. So long. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, thanks for watching this video. We really appreciate it. We really have to thank our patrons who make all this possible. With just a little bit every month, they go ahead and they help us with things like our web domain, email addresses, marketing, any technological things that we need. They really help us out. We'd love for you to join them. If you'd like to join this list over here, go to patreon.com slash mindofmodernman and you can help us out too. Remember, you can follow us at mindofmodernman.com, and we're on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, at Mind of Modern Man. You can find me on Twitter, at Modern Keith. We'd love a follow everywhere. Remember, you need to subscribe. Click the little button up here, and you can subscribe, and you'll get notified every time that we have a new video. And you can watch our other videos by clicking the little thing down here on the corner. A big thank you to everyone behind the scenes at Modern Man for making Truck Tales possible. We love doing these videos. We hope that you love watching and we hope you continue to do so. Thanks again and so long.